Okay, welcome back, and uh, we are going to look right now at the maps section. So this is exactly what it says, adding a map into the web page. And this is a fully interactive map you'll see, and there are several parameters that you can choose and uh, some different options for the map. So let's take a look at it. If you click on the map, it'll automatically insert it into the web page. Now this one is automatically going to insert a full width map if you wanted a map right out of the box that had some padding, if you go up, you remember to our article section, uh, there was a map here that if you click on that one, it actually gives you a smaller version uh, with some padding around it. So if that's more of the look that you want and not this all the way across full width map, uh, you can choose that. Or if you've already inserted the full width map, all you have to do is click on the block parameters. Um, I guess it doesn't give you the option anymore. It used to give the option of uh, full width or some padding. So if you want the one with padding, go up to the article and you can choose um, the one that already has the padding on it. Or if you want a full width map, you can choose this one uh, that is toward the bottom where it says maps right here. <clears throat> so you can see here, there is, uh, this is your marker. It's gonna be in the center of the map and it's going to give you a little tool tip uh, that shows or displays or talks about this particular marker. So if you look here, when you change this part, it changes the marker. When you change this part, it changes the tool tip. So let's go ahead and set this to Chicago, my beloved. It lands us squarely in the middle of the loop in Chicago. This is downtown Chicago. And then <clears throat> we can add a little tool tip. We could put um, um, if you wanted to uh, If you wanted to put the full address on there, you could do that. So that might be a quick visual way. People can still copy that and then they can take that and paste that into um, a maps program. They could also go and they can click on the man and then they'll be able to, to see a street view, which is really cool. Uh, so right on your map, they can find the street view. They can see exactly what it looks like right at your business. They can zoom in, they can zoom out just like they would on the street view uh, if they were looking on Google Maps. So this is a really powerful extension uh, to keep people on your website so that they don't have to go off of your website. Uh, the same parameters exist for this <clears throat> for this map here. Uh, you can change this and then you can change the tooltip to say anything you want. If you don't want a tooltip, all you have to do is get rid of that and then there won't be any tooltip. They'll only see uh, this is where you are on the map and then they'll be able to interact with the map and zoom in just like this and move around the streets. So these are the map sections. Map, se map sections can be dragged just like any other uh, block so you can change the order very easily and uh, you can't do anything really with the background, so it's going to be a white map uh, with a white board. I mean, a, a map with a white border. That's what you're going to get, or you're going to get the full width map. So not a lot of uh, style options, but in terms of its functionality and its power, a very, very good thing to have uh, for your business website or your contact page. Okay, so this is the maps in Mobi Rise, and then finally, we're going to check out some of the footers that are available to you. Uh, in Moby Rise, and that'll be uh, the last of our tutorials. So, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you watched other videos uh, to find out how to use Moby Rise in a better way.